Hello YouTubes and today I'm going to teach you how to make this amazing American Gold Doll scarf that took me really not that long. It's so much fun, so let's get started. So the first thing you're going to need are fingers, or preferably four, but you know it doesn't really matter. Next thing you'll need is yarn. I usually like to use the more high quality yarn because I just like the texture more, but you can use string for all I care. I mean, it really doesn't matter. Next thing you're going to need is any cutting device. I use scissors. But you can also use nail clippers, but I use scissors. So let's get started. So first you're just gonna take your yarn and just like, I usually like to hold it with my fingers like right there like I'm dashing. And now we're just gonna weave it through your fingers. So you go over, under, and then around or something like that. And over, under, and around, and over, and under, and around. And you're gonna do this four times. I kinda got confused about that, but You'll see, I'll, I'll do another one later. See, now I'm doing it over, under, and around. It's really not that simple. I probably am going to make it sound more hard than it is, but it's really not that bad. So now you're going to have like two, I guess, like loops around your each finger. So like, see how my thumb is be demonstrating beautifully. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. So since there's two uh, strings around my finger, you're going to just take the bottom string and move it around your finger without, I guess, moving the top one. Just like that. And now that we've done our first stitch, we're just gonna do the under, over, and around kind of sequence over again twice until you have two of those little, like, loop strings again. So you're gonna take the bottom one and move it to the top. As I'm... Hopefully it's not that hard, but it can be kind of confusing. I got so confused when I first learned this, so this is probably not going to be a successful video. Yeah. So, yep, like I said, I'm just going to do that and multiple times. And trust me, it gets pretty long in a short period of time. So, now there's going to be a super fast time lapse and oh, close, not right now. Um, right. Now. Okay, now that you're done with that, or if you even did it or not, it's time to finish the stitch. So you're gonna take one of the loops on your finger, there should be one now, just like finish that stitch with that shoulder again, and you're gonna just move it over to your other, to the next door finger. And now I got confused out of this, so you can see. So, but you're still gonna take that top one and move it down to the bottom, and take the now top stitch and move it to the other finger, if that makes any sense at all. So, like I said, you're going to take the top one and move it down to the bottom and take that one that you just moved over and moved the string down to over to the next finger. I'm really sorry I'm bad at explaining things, so hopefully you're more of a seer than, uh, like, I don't know, never mind. Okay, so you're going to have one loop left, and what you're going to do with that is I'm going to pick up my scissors and cut the yarn. I'm gonna leave a little bit more space because you still need to tie it if you want to make it an infinity scarf, which what which what I want to do. But you don't have to leave too much, I guess. So now you're just gonna put that string through the loop and just pull really tight to make your knot. And trust me, if you pull really tight, that thing ain't going nowhere. So I'm also gonna do that to the other side. I'm just gonna pull it really tight. This one does require more pulling, I guess, for some, because it's like, you didn't actually make a knot, but it works. So now I'm just going to tie a knot. You can do this any way you prefer. I just do, like, the classic knot that you learn in, like, kindergarten. Like, not the bow knot, but, like, you know, the thing where you tie your shoes with. It's just, like, a classic double knot thing. And as you can see, I'm really struggling. Yeah.
Okay, so now that I got my, uh, was a yarn, I got it tied, I'm gonna now show you just how to, like, hide them. This is, like, completely optional, you really don't need to do that, this, but I like to do it because it just hides them more. You can just, like, cut it close to knot, but anyway, you're just gonna take those strings that you just cut kind of, like, closer down to size, and you're just gonna weave them through the knots, or, like, the stitches. It really doesn't matter where it goes, like, it's just, like, it just make it random and make it kind of like hiding and stuff and hide the ends when you're done. So there's kind of an awkward silence now that the music's gone. So yeah. So I'm just gonna have an awkward silence while I now teach you how scarves work in this beautiful thing. So hopefully you survived that awkward silence. Yeah, hopefully you did. So this project is really fun and easy. It just took me like 10 minutes to make this thing, which is really not that long. And I hope you make it yourself also. So thank you so much for watching. And have a nice day. Like and subscribe. And keep on entertaining.